So everything is ready between Aspilicueta and Barcelona. Xavi wants the player, he's putting pressure, but at the same point, Tuchel said, Hey guys, welcome back on the channel, Fabrizio Romano here as always to update you on the transfer market and today guys we have to comment on Liverpool rumours about the new midfielder, on Bukayo Saka, Gianluca Scamacca new signing for West Ham and Chelsea because... Thomas Tuchel is absolutely not happy with Barcelona approach on the transfers on some Chelsea players. So let's jump into it together. And guys, let me begin with Gianluca Scamacca, the here we go of the night for West Ham, because there is an agreement between West Ham and Sassuolo, and this is also kind of Chelsea news, because we know that West Ham were negotiating for Armando Broglia as new signing in attacking position, they submitted the proposal 30 million pounds, but no agreement with Chelsea as they wanted, uh, as of now, to keep the player, then we will see what happens, and so uh, West Ham submitted an improved bid to Sassuolo for Italian striker Gianluca Scamacca, 36 million euros plus 6 million euros in add-ons plus sell-on percentage uh, close included 10% percentage of the future sale of Gianluca Scamacca to Sassuolo and so it's a new striker for West Ham there is an agreement in principle we wait for the player to have his medical for the documents to be signed but everything is verbally agreed for West Ham to sign Gianluca Scamacca and this is an important one because also Paris Saint-Germain were keen on Scamacca then they decided to go for Ugo Ekitike so this is the Scamacca situation for uh, West Ham also many of you asking me on Liverpool midfielder because we had rumors from Portugal about Mateus Nunes, sporting midfielder with a release close around 60 million euros, so many asking about Liverpool jumping into this opportunity. Guys, again, the answer from Liverpool is clear. No negotiation, no bid at the moment, no talks to sign Mateus Nunes. This is the situation as of today, then we will see during the market, we know that it's still long, but at the moment, the only midfielder that Liverpool tried to approach was Jude Bellingham in June, but it was not even a negotiation, because for Borussia Dortmund he's untouchable this summer, and so no way, but for Mateusz Nunez, nothing as of now, guys, and let me say that he was in Manchester City list before they signed Calvin Phillips, who has always been the priority target. Buka Yosaka negotiating a new contract with Arsenal, told you here many times, guys, and the negotiation is ongoing. Uh, I'm told that it's not something imminent, but Arsenal proposal is a good one, so negotiations ongoing, the player loves Arsenal, he would love to continue at Gunners, and so this is why at the moment there is a negotiation ongoing between Arsenal board and Buka Yosaka agents for a new contract. So work in progress is not something imminent, but it's something that is being discussed since February, if you're following the channel, and now still in talks between Saka and Arsenal. And then, guys, Chelsea and Barcelona situation, because it's a really important one to mention. Thomas Tuchel uh, from Vegas uh, mentioned the situation of Cesar Aspilicueta in the last press conference, and he said, maybe I'm not so happy with the uh, Barcelona situation on Aspilicueta. He said they are pushing him, and I understand him on his point of view. He has a proposal from Barcelona since long time. This is what I am saying, guys, not Thomas Tuchel in this case, but it's the truth. There is a proposal from Barca, two-year contract with an option for further season. So everything is ready between Aspilicueta and Barcelona. Xavi wants the player, he's putting pressure, but at the same point, Tuchel said, I'm not sure I'm going to give Aspilicueta what he wants and what Barcelona want, because at the moment, Chelsea are not happy with Barcelona proposal for Aspilicueta. He said he's an important player. He's player for Spain, he's our captain, he's a winner, and so we want something important for Aspilicueta, not small money. Let me say that Barcelona proposal uh, is absolutely not convincing for Chelsea at the moment, so they will remain in talks, but as of now, Tuchel and Todd Bowley have no intention to accept the last proposal from Barca. So let's see what Aspilicueta will decide to do, if he will push for the move or not. But let me say that Tuchel, behind the scenes, is not happy with Barcelona for many things. For example, the big fight on uh, Jules Kunde ongoing, because Barcelona had contacts with the player in the last few days, but Chelsea sent the documents to Sevilla for Kunde. They have everything ready with Sevilla on a verbal basis, waiting for the final approval on these contracts, on these documents, and then to say, here we go for uh, Jules Kunde to Chelsea. The deal is really imminent because everything is verbally ready between Chelsea and Sevilla, but they sent the documents during last night Chelsea and waiting for Sevilla to check it, to approve and to sign everything for Jules Kunde and then for the player to sign because he discussed the personal terms with Chelsea but it's time to sign contracts now to complete everything. Let me remind, five-year deal for Jules Kunde with a gross salary around 9 million euros per season and 55 million pounds 
to Sevilla from Chelsea. So work in progress between Sevilla and Chelsea to complete everything and say then, here we go for Kunde. But, as I mentioned, Tuchel is not happy because Barcelona were trying till the end to push on this one. And also other two players, because for Aspilicueta we mentioned, but Barcelona did almost the same for Marcos Alonso. In contact with the player, discussing a potential agreement, but no agreement with Chelsea. And so it's basically the same also for Marcos Alonso. And another deal, the fourth between Chelsea and Barca, of course, Rafinha. It was agreed between Chelsea and Leeds, and then after two weeks, Barcelona won the race by having an agreement with Rafinha and with his agent Deco. So this is why Chelsea are not so happy with Barca. This is why Tuchel confirmed to be a little bit disappointed by Barcelona. But let's see how it will end up with Cesar Aspilicueta, because the player wants Barca. He still wants Barca move, but Chelsea have been clear. They want an important fee, or they will not accept. And so guys, let me hear your thoughts on these stories, Chelsea-Barca situation, but also Bukayo Saka, Gianluca Scamacca, important signing for West Ham, and of course Liverpool midfielder, do they need a midfielder or not? I wait for your opinions, guys, here in the comments, remember to subscribe to the channel, to smash the like button, and as always, to turn on the notification bell, so you're not going to miss any single update. Ciao.